probably don't want to eat all that. It'll probably make you sick. One more bite. <laughs> One more bite. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors and today, and it's a very exciting day, we are gonna do the Thursday garden update and I'm super excited. I didn't see you guys last week, but we are back and better than ever. All right, we're gonna start with this first plant. This first plant is not doing so well. I have some bad news to tell you guys. Almost all of my plants have been infested with aphids, every single one of them, even this plant with the biggest watermelon. Just look at those leaves. Those leaves are terrible. But there's not really anything I can do about it other than spray, which I have been. And the way off is around 18 days away. So I'm kind of just letting them go. I've been spraying as much as I can, but there's nothing really I can do about it. So are you guys ready to see this watermelon? It is getting so big. It's estimating around... 130 pounds. Here you go. Look at that watermelon. It is looking so big. 130 pounds. And it is short and fat. That's how we like them. Yeah, stem's still looking healthy, still green. So I think it'll last another 18 days till the way off. So yeah, looking good. Hopefully we'll have a 140 pound watermelon. The next plant is over here. I will apologize because a lot of these plants have just went ahead and died on me because all the aphids. So I apologize if these aren't as big as you were expecting, but you guys shouldn't be disappointed with that one over there. But here you go. This one's probably around 30 pounds. This is probably one I'll be able to eat here in a few weeks. Plant's not looking good either, so. And neither is this one. I'm super sad about this one. I thought this one was going to be one of my biggest melons. Because how short and fat this melon is. But it has gone ahead and died off. Stems dried up and everything. So at the end of today's video, I'm actually going to cut that watermelon. And see if it's any good. Because I saw you guys were upset when I didn't cut the last one. So I'm going to cut this one in today's video. And hopefully you guys... It will be red so I can eat it. These two plants we pulled, that plant got the watermelon eaten. And then we do have more problems with the deer squirrels. The squirrels and the deer have been eating our watermelon so I had two over here that they have eaten. <laughs> so two watermelons down. It seems the watermelons that I cover they don't eat. So this whole row is basically wasted except AJ's plant because I had that one covered and it didn't eat the covered one. So this plant is the only plant that I know of that doesn't have aphids except my big pumpkin plant. Yeah, and his plant got really lucky. His watermelon actually got really lucky because something uncovered it and started to try to eat it. You can see where it scratched it. I don't know. It looks like maybe a squirrel he tried to get in right here too. Maybe he bit in right there. I don't know. He got really close call. That watermelon's around 30 pounds. Probably. Yeah, looking good. I think AJ will be able to take not 30, probably like 40, 50. But I think AJ will be able to take that one to the way off around in 18 days. So I bet he's going to be super excited about that. Now on to the pumpkins, what you guys probably came here for. I'm super excited to show you guys this. So we'll start on this biggest plant. All right, this is a plant that you saw the pumpkin rotted on. And this plant has taken off. The stump has gotten way bigger. The plant has gotten way bigger. The leaves have gotten way bigger. Look how big this leaf is. It is crazy how much more is pushing the plant when it doesn't have a pumpkin on it but just look how tall that leaf is i think that leaf is probably two feet it's like almost up to my waist it is crazy it's like two feet tall i'm gonna let this plant grow as many pumpkins as it wants to because maybe i'll have some pumpkins 
during Halloween to put out on the porch or something. You can see this side of the plant, and I think I have two water pumpkins on this side. There's that one, and there's another one in here somewhere. There it is. Little triangle shaped pumpkin. And then I have another one over there that's just small, just bloomed. Now I have another one on over there that just formed too, so looks pretty good. Show you around this plant a little bit more. There's that one I was talking about. And then I'll show you the pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin's absolutely disintegrated, so yeah. This plant's pretty much done for giants for the way off. Unless it can grow five hundred or two hundred pounder in the next eighteen days, which I doubt it. All right, now on to the middle-sized plant, our smallest plant. Sorry, same thing with this plant. This plant has kind of died off. It was all under there. It's kind of just a main vine now and some dead leaves, and I have a side vine running through them bushes. Everything has aphids once again, but this pumpkin is actually pretty big for such a small plant. This pumpkin is estimating... 132 pounds so this thing is actually getting really big for having a cracked main vine and it being such a small plant now for the big pumpkin you guys are not gonna believe how big the big pumpkin is goliath let's check out goliath's plant plant his veins what makes him work here's a stump he's got a little stump if you haven't been watching the channel but the leaves have kind of been dying off it's later in the season and i have a few diseases that i can't seem to get rid of but you got this one main vine coming out here it's looking really good that one main vine not really good but decent compared to the other plants you can see a lot of my leaves are just dying off my main vine runs all the way out here. I think it may have some aphids. Actually, it doesn't. Maybe it's, yeah, it has a little bit of aphids on it. But, yeah, for the most part, this plant's still trucking along, staying alive as long as it could. And this pumpkin is still gaining good weight for how early on, or late on in the year it is. So I'm going to uncover this beast and then show you guys when I flip the camera around. Three, two, one. This pumpkin has gotten so much bigger. I don't even know if you guys can tell how much bigger it's gotten. I'm sure you guys can. And it's gotten so much wider and so much longer. It just looks like a pancake. Look at that big old rib running down the side. Look at that pancake. <laughs> this pumpkin estimates 424 pounds that is right we're in the 400 territory i think around 450 is where i'll be comfortable with saying it officially is gonna weigh 400 pounds but i think it may weigh around 400 pounds guys this is so exciting i think it grew like 20 pounds in the last day or so it is just crazy how much this thing has been growing and the stem's still looking good and the main vine's still looking good. Everything is looking great for it to gain another 100 pounds in the next 18 days, hopefully. So, heck yeah. Guys, look at that pumpkin. That's a pancake. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm going to get this covered up and then we'll go harvest that watermelon and get it carried down to the house and cut it open. I can say it's gonna not grow anymore, so. I got the watermelon on the back porch. I also got AJ. I have it on the biggest cutting board we have. AJ, what do you think about this? I think it will be right, but. Yeah, there is a little hole in it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little hole right there. Yeah, but a little hole won't, it doesn't hurt anything. All right, are you ready? We're gonna yep. see if this thing's ripe. Oh! <laughs> Turkey knife. Hopefully it's 
ripe. Don't look. I can tell that it's probably not going to be ripe. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think ripe. <gasps> AJ, stand over there. Don't look. But we'll see. Let's try a piece. The thing about cutting one. <gasps> nope, nope, nope. Wait. Oh, it kind of smells good. Come over here, AJ. Here, wait. One, two, three. Not the best watermelon I've ever had. Mm. Well, guys, the watermelon you don't think you think it's a little bit chewy, AJ? Mm. Yeah, it's because it is not all the way ripe. I do think this watermelon would have been really good if that plant would have died and maybe gave it a little bit more time. Oh, never peace. I. I bet it's just, I bet it's just a soft piece. I want that piece. You cut me a piece like that, Bob. Oh no. No. Oh. Let me cut you a different piece. Yes. It's not the best watermelon on the planet. Her and AJ is, nope, don't take a bite out of that. Is the watermelon good? Yeah. Is it the best watermelon you ever had? No. No, definitely not. The watermelon, AJ's a little weird. And he thinks the watermelon's good, but it's definitely not good. I don't think it was completely ripe yet. We'll get it some year. I cut AJ the biggest piece of watermelon I could get him. Take a little bite out of that, AJ. Put that watermelon slice up next to your head. That is so big. <laughs> Take a bite out of that. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this watermelon and go feed it to the deer. Maybe some to the chickens. So yeah, I think that's probably going to be the end of today's video. AJ, I'm going to enjoy that watermelon. Probably don't want to eat all that. Probably make you sick. One more bite. <laughs> One more bite. <laughs> yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Go down there. Ring the notification okay, bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video. video.